Hi everyone, greetings from Pakistan. I am Marika Maria. I am a, a human rights lawyer in Pakistan, working for the rights of persecuted minorities and Christians in Pakistan uh, since 2004. I'm the head of the section of uh, Pakistan of ISHR. And uh, today I will be sharing some um, situation of Christians in Pakistan and I'll be shedding some light over uh, the Pakistani laws under the umbrella of Sharia law. Christians make up to 1.8% of Pakistani population. Violence against religious minorities in Pakistan is not necessarily as a result of societal intolerance, but is organized and carried out by the group of religious extremists. There are numerous extremist Muslim groups currently operating in Pakistan. The state's inability to provide basic services has left room for the responsibility of for the extremist groups to step in and assume responsibility. The responsibilities include running institutions of learning, clinics, and setting up madrasas. Overall, whether a Christian is a convert or born in the faith, he or she is orchestrized by the Muslim majority. There are a number of discriminatory laws made to please the radical thinkers and fundamentalist Muslims and the Islamic groups. The top of the list is a blasphemy law, which is now being protected, influenced, and implemented by judiciary, unfortunately. The Pakistani government did not amend or repeal blasphemy law provisions that have provided a pretext for the violence against religious minorities and left them vulnerable to arbitrary arrest and prosecution. The death penalty is mandatory for blasphemy and dozens of people remained on death row as of late 2023. On August 16 to 2023, several hundred people attacked a Christian settlement in Faisalabad district, Punjab province, after two members of the community were accused of committing blasphemy. The mob, armed with stones and sticks, vandalized several churches, dozens of houses, and a cemetery, while the police arrested 130 people alleged to have been involved in the attacks. Residents told local right activities, ac activists that hours before the attack, the police warned them a mob was coming, but claimed they could do nothing to stop it. The devastating attack on Christian community in Jadamala in August 2023 was a sobering reminder of the hostile environment facing many believers in Pakistan. The attack on more than 20 churches and almost 100 homes was in response to allegations that two believers had desecrated the Holy Quran. Pakistan's notorious blasphemy laws are often used to target minority groups, but Christians are disproportionately affected. Indeed, roughly a quarter of all blasphemy accusations target Christians who only make up to 1.8% of the population. The terrorist organizations like TTP, Al-Qaeda, the Balochistan Liberation Army, the ISKP and their affiliates do not only persecute minorities but also are responsible for carrying out attacks against security personnel that caused hundreds of civilians' death, deaths and injuries during the last year. According to Pakistan Institute of Conflict and Security Studies, there were 99 militant attacks in August 2023 only, the highest number of attacks in one month since 2014, and they are still carrying out various terrorist activities in the country. Believers are targeted in other ways too, but overtly and subtly. The number of Christian girls and those from other minority religions abducted, accused, and forcefully converted to Islam is growing while churches that engage in outreach are particularly prone to opposition. All Christians suffer from institutionalized discriminations and occupations that are deemed low, dirty, and degraded, such as working as in a sewer, cleaner or on a bricklin are reserved for Christians by the authorities. Many are referred to as chura, a derogatory term meaning filthy. 
The Voice Society is a human rights NGO working with a zeal to provide free legal aid to the persecuted minorities in Pakistan. The Voice is a non-government, non-political and non-religious organization. It is having a panel of 40 lawyers all over Punjab to carry out its work in different cities of Punjab. It is carrying out its work in Punjab and is working on all sorts of persecution among all sectors of religious minorities. The Voice is currently working upon several projects that comes under the umbrella of of human rights. The voice projects are legal aid help program, orphan support program, child rights and education program, bonded labor, women rights and empowerment, medical help to the persecuted in need, and legal aid for minorities in jail. Here are some of the victims of rape and forced marriages who were recovered successfully by the voice legal panel. These are some of the victims of sectarian violence. These are some of the blasphemy victims who have been helped by the Voice Society and the Voice is still helping them with their cases. This is an overview of the Bricklin, uh, how people uh, work on Bricklin and how do they live. And this is the education program for bonded labor children, for a poor class who are those children who have uh, don't have any facilities and any means to get education, the Voice is helping, helping them to re reach their goals. Now, historical churches have relative freedom for worship and other activities. However, they are heavily monitored and have been targeted for bomb attacks. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for, for your interest and for your time. Take care.